All right, to jailbreak um, iPod 2.0, you're gonna need two files. Um, let's open up Safari. You need Pwnage Tool, which I'll provide links for. You can download right here. And you also need the um, what's called the iPod 2.0 uh, firmware, um, which you can download here. I'll provide links later. Alright, so at this point, you might want to pause the video while those two rather long um, files are downloaded. Okay, now um, I've got Pwnage Tool here, and we're going to open it up. Um, we're going to select iPod Touch, continue, and now um, we downloaded the firmware. It's going to search for it. Hopefully you'll find it. If not, you can always drag it in here. So you just confirm that and say click to continue. Um, say yes. Now wait while it builds the new firmware with the jailbreak. All right, so um, hopefully the it built the um, IPSW uh, well. It might have asked you a question about jail have you jailbroken it before, which you should have answered no. Now, um, as you can see here, it's asking you to connect the device to USB. So let me just get this hooked up. it asks you to turn off device let me close um, um, now it says prepare and now you have to hold these for 10 seconds release power button Okay, so now our iPod is in DFU mode, and as you can see, iTunes here will say it's in recovery mode, which is fine. Okay, so um, you're done with Pwnage Tool now, you can just quit. Now you're going to have iTunes here, and here's, right here, is the custom firmware that was built for your um, iPod. What you're going to do is you're going to click Option Restore Option um, on your keyboard right and you, you're you going to find it. It's on my desktop here. Here's the custom firmware um, and I'm not going to do it because mine's already jailbroken but you press open and um, let it iTunes do its thing. Alright, so hopefully everything went well um, with the re uh, reinstall and reboot. Okay, when you start up your um, iPod again, you should notice that there's not an app Apple logo, but a Pineapple logo. And when you get to the home screen, it should look something a bit like this. Well, probably not themed, but you should at least have the App Store and also this thing called uh, Cydia, which is basically um, the the um, third-party installer for um, jailbroken iPods. So if you open that up, um, you'll notice there's something called OpenS. You can scroll down and see something called OpenSSH access how to click on that and you come to something called open S um and i'll have instructions here i don't they're sort of hard to follow i wouldn't advise following them but um you can uh, just double click uh, just click on the open open ssh um package and it should open up and your screen will look slightly different from this but um go ahead and install open ssh 
Um, and after that, I would advise rebooting, a hard reboot, turn it off and turn it on um, your iPod. Alright, so hopefully um, SSH, you install SSH, uh, you reboot, you won't notice anything because it's all under the hood. But now I devise um, going out and getting a free program called CyberDoc. Uh, you can get it here, download it, I already have it. But download that, install that, and that will allow you to interact with your uh, iPod, sort of. I'll go into further detail in the future. But, um, yeah. And so, you still have some more stuff to do on your touch, though. So, um, fire, when, after you've installed, go into settings. Um, for you to be able to use CyberDuck, you need to go to Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi menu, click on this blue little arrow right here, and, um, you get to window like this, and then copy this IP address right down on a piece of paper and also you have to um, go back to settings go to general and then go to auto lock and turn it to never it's just something uh, cyberduck needs it uh, if your iPod shuts down while cyberducks using it that's not good so um, after you've got that all written down uh, um, we'll go to Cyberduck. Here it is. Alright. So you open it up and um, you say open connection. Protocol is SFTP. Server is. Oops. Server is um, the IP address that you've. That you um, have written down. So in my case, it's uh, let's see. In my case, it's ten point zero point two two. Oh, point two. Okay. Now username. You're gonna put root. And for password, you're going to put Alpine. A L P I N E. Press connect. Okay, you might have to re-enter it again. But now, um, now you're browsing your uh, iPod Touch. Okay.